Hi, I'm Scott and welcome back to my shop. Today's project, we're going to make a whistle. <whistles> this is made out of some olive wood. Uh, just some scraps I had laying around the shop. They're about the size of a pen blank. So if you have some pen blanks laying around or you just got some scraps, you can make a whistle. If you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. To make this whistle, I'm going to start out with some olive wood. Uh, I got a couple pieces here, just some scrap that was laying around the shop. Um, they're about pen blank size, so I'm sure you could make this just using some pen blanks. You can see here how I have the one piece of olive wood mounted in my chuck, and I have uh, pin jaws on my chuck. I have a couple lines drawn on this piece of wood. One's at three quarters of an inch. Um, and I'll explain that in a bit and the next line is about a half inch from that okay um, but the first step I'm going to do is you can see I have a drill bit in my drill chuck and I'm going to drill a hole about two and a half inches deep into this piece of wood Okay, now that we have our 3 8 inch hole, I'm um, about two and a half inches deep. I am going to um, use this first line um, to cut a lot, to cut straight down with a saw. And then I'm gonna cut in at an angle to try to intersect that from the second line. Okay, um, what we're basically doing here is uh, creating the notch for the whistle. Okay, you can see I've cut that just about halfway down and I just eyeballed that. If you want, you can measure it, but about halfway is um, generally gonna work fine. And the next step would be to take this uh, wood and cut an angle down to meet that line. Now that's gonna be kind of difficult with a handsaw. You could do that on a bandsaw or you could take out a chisel. I'm gonna start with the handsaw and I'm gonna finish up with some chisels. Okay, so here you can see I have the piece in the lathe. I uh, put on a cone center. That's just to basically hold this still, stabilize it and keep it centered. Um, and the next step for me is I'm gonna just round over um, part of this so I can shape the mouthpiece. I'm ready to shape the mouthpiece and you can make it any shape you want. Um, I've made a couple of these before so I have a shape in mind but uh, it really doesn't matter. You just want to make it look nice. Here you can see I have the second piece of olive wood. This piece is just about three inches long. Um, and I got it in the pin jaws of this chuck. And what I need to do is, is I need to make a dowel um, that's going to basically um, slide inside the hole that we drilled in the main part of the whistle. All right, now that I have this rounded over, I only need about three quarters of an inch because I don't want it to go past that vertical cut on the whistle. So let's measure in about three quarters of an inch. It's 
going to be right about there. And I'm going to reduce this with the parting tool. I have my caliper set to about 3 8 of an inch, so I am going to just make sure I can get the tip of this at about 3 8 of an inch, and then I'll blend the rest in. Okay, so that's about 3 8 of an inch. Time to test fit it. Okay, and it fits on there pretty much perfect. Okay, for this next step, I'm just going to extend this just a little bit, and then I'm going to have to shave this dowel um, almost in half. And I'm going to do that with a chisel, but let me just extend this a little bit. Okay, you can see I left a little bit of a step there. And you can do that, you don't have to, it's really not necessary at all. It's all gonna get turned away, but that's gonna work as a stop for when I slide that in and glue it in place. Um, but for now, I'm gonna have to take a chisel and I'm gonna have to take about half of that dowel away. You could have done the same thing by cutting this dowel off the piece and then just taking a piece of sandpaper on a table or a, some flat surface and just sanding it away. Either way works perfectly fine. Now that I have this piece ready to go, I'm going to cut this off here with a handsaw. You can see I put the main part of the whistle back into the chuck and I've used the cone center to center that um, before I tightened up the jaws so that way it's going to run true but I'm going to pull the cone center away so I can glue that little wedge in that we just trimmed and that's going to go in here just like that all right we want the flat side pointing up so it's basically in line with the, the groove or the a notch that we cut to glue that in place, I'm going to use some CA glue. Alright, you can see I sprayed some accelerator inside the notch just to speed up that curing process. I also had sprayed the, um, the wedge uh, with some accelerator to help that up. And so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to turn this even with the end of the mouthpiece. Okay, you can see as I turn that away, I just turn that little step away. And now I have an opening for the whistle. Now that we have the wedge glued in. Um, you see I marked the line here, and that line is two and a half inches, if you remember, that's the depth that we drilled the hole uh, when we drilled the hole down the, uh, the blank here. So um, I, that's where I, I got to go past that when I uh, shape this and, um, and then part that end off. But now it's time to finish shaping the, uh, the body of the whistle and um, part it off the lathe.
All right, so this piece is mostly done. Time to sand it up. I got some 220 and some uh, 320. All right, so now it's just time to part this off and polish it up. All right, here you can see I have the buffing wheel on the lathe and this one is uh, for beeswax. So I'm just going to put a coat of beeswax on that whistle and um, just call it a day. So there you have it, a nice whistle that we made out of some olive wood. <whistles> Man, that thing's loud. Um, it's piercing. Um, yeah, I've made these out of uh, maple, olive wood, some coca bolo, just about anything would work. So give it a shot and try making a whistle. I wanna give a shout out to Annalie um, from Annie's Woodworks for sending me out this awesome t-shirt. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time in Scott's Mini Woodshop. Have a great one.